Hello everyone, I'm Susanna. Welcome back to my channel. I'm currently crocheting the knit hat and this is the lip part and this is a free pattern of the knit hat of the crochet design in my blog that is totally free so please visit the page use the link or in the description box down below and also this is the single crochet back loop lip stitch and i shared about the secrets of back loop single crochet video so those who watch this video this is very easy to follow the pattern and this is actually I explained in my blog that is 88 rows but in somehow I use lightweight yarn so the gauge is different that's why I made 110 rows it means 55 rib part it means uh, 55 mountains so I'm also uh, arranged pattern a little bit because I need to recalculate the pattern and uh, actually honeycomb pattern is multiples of 22 stitches so 110 rows is multiples of 22 that's why it is okay so please think like that actually now I have 48 centimeters length to from the edge to edge that is okay for the brim okay Okay, from now I'm going to complete the brim part and this is the yarn that I just finished to crochet and so let's cut the yarn and let's make a knot. Okay, so this is the mountain side and it's going to be the light side. So light side together. This is the starting yarn and it's going to be upward and from the bottom to up we are going to sew them together with the darning needle and position it the first stitch and the first stitch together. Using a yarn needle So pick the both loops of V chains and two loops. So you if you are not sure, just count from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So this is a start stitch we need to start. So this is a stitch from the outer to inner and from inner to outer under the two loops and sew the first stitch and next just a running stitch into the second stitch so both second stitches and next is the third stitches so it's very simple just sew one stitch each like this and if you are if you feel it's not clear so please pinch out the screen so like this and let's check from the light side okay so I'm going to open it so this is the joining line and this is the valley and I'm going to close like this. It's quite natural, isn't it? And the next stitch. So one stitch is one stitch each. Just 13 stitches or your stitch numbers. So it's quite simple. I'll leave the yarn sizes are in the video and the description box below so please refer the size and weight and the category and this is the last stitch and the last stitch should be only one loop left because I use 
、uh, I picked both loops when I making the last stitch of the single crochet. Okay, so this is the last stitch. All right. Okay, that's it. And after reaching the top, bring two yarn ends and make a knot. Double knot, please. All right. So, how is it? It's very easy and simple. So, you can weave the yarn end in the stitch or in the top line. And this is a joining line from the long side, and this is a light side. So, can you identify where is the joining line? This is a line. It's a little bit visible, so it's better to.、Uh, this is from the long side. And it's better to bring this joining point from the a little bit, you know, right or left. And as you can see, this is curved inside. And that is the secret of my single crochet. So when you wear it on, it's very natural and beautiful. Like this. So, if you don't watch my last video yet, please visit the link and then watch the details and check the how to do it. Okay. All right. So, next, I'm going to weave the yarn end. Okay. Stay tuned. Okay. So, then let's weave the yarn end. I saw the do the same thing at the opposite side. So let's look at the yarn which I used today. This is for the brim, and this is 40 grams and 120 meters. The recommended hook size is from 2.5 to 3.5, and I use 3.5 today. And this is for the body, and this is 40 grams and 160 meters, like this. And the recommended hook size is from 4 to 5 millimeters, and I use from 4 to 3. So I'm going to show details. And next, I'm going to explain about the color. Gradation I use for the beige in the for the bloom and yellow for the body, and for the pom pom, I pick the different yarn. This is mix of yellowish beige, so I use this yarn for the pom pom. So, actually, I use three kinds on this project, but I have some more recommendations for the colors. 
and I'm going to show you the variations or suggestions. So please or uh, watch that and you know for your imagination. The first one is light blue and blue mixing. So that is blue tone and blue transition. And this is like a, a mixed color. Yeah, so if you mix it, it's very natural and you know very uh, organized. So the color doesn't match, a color matches perfectly, so doesn't you know fight each colors, fight against each color. So I think this is good combination. And one, this is 30 grams, and the blue is 60 grams, so one bowl each is enough. And the same as the same variations, I have more suggestions. Okay, this is the blue, and the next next is light green and brownish yellow. So this is a good combination as well. So if you change at the volume, you can use the solid color, and if you can. If you can enjoy the gradation colors like this. This is a recycled polyester yarn and 60 grams is very nice size to make a hat. Also you can make much with the yellow. That is also 30 grams so I think this is this much as this is good combination. It's very bright in winter so it's good. Yeah, I think I like this combination as well. And the next is the purple and purple, purple gray. So this is also a good combination, and the same uh, same groups of the yarn. So the bloom is all same yarn, and the body is all same yarn. This is like a raspberry. It's very beautiful, but I don't have any good combination. I think yellow and red is. Completely, I thought that, but I, actually, I don't think so now. And this is also good. Teal, green, and blue is also match very well. So I, I guess this is very beautiful and very thick. Which do you prefer, light blue or teal blue? Or this one? I I prefer this one better. So I might make one more hat with different stitches and maybe knitting or crocheting. I, I'm not I'm not I don't decide yet, but I would like to make one more hat in this season. Because hat is very, you know, uh interesting because we can uh, challenge new stitches in the small project. Oh this is kind of a, a strawberry. Also, purple and red is go okay, good, and this teal and red is also good. Oh no, mm, well, um, it's difficult. So this yarn is quite difficult to match with the other colors. So I think the only one color is good to make this hat. I believe. Yeah, this is very dif difficult color. I don't have good combination. So this is my variations. I picked, <laughs> I picked some to show you. Oh, then I found light pink. So this is good, right? If you match some co other color, pink is good. And this is also glitter yarn and dark gray. And this is also nice to make this hat. It's going to be very, you know, mature and uh, sophisticated so in this case uh, maybe I don't make I don't uh, I don't add any pompon or I do mm, what do you think this is a little bit way a uh, heavy yarn I don't know why it's small yarn but quite heavy and you know a kind of a wet yarn and a little bit cold so I, I don't think it is good for winter but you know color and glitter is very beautiful and eye-catchy so I picked from the store but 
Uh, and I'm right now crocheting a sweater, but I don't I don't know it's good or not. So I crocheting I'm crocheting with mohair, black mohair. So I think it's it's much better than this alone. So this is quite a uh, slim yeah. So if you feel one strand is not enough, please use two strands. So the combination of yarn is very interesting and mixing yarn is also very interesting so you know there is no goal so always challenging and and i love i love thinking oh what should i do what should i pick with, th with this color like that so i like you know i like this this kind of time it is my meditation and the next is the solid color. So I think you can get many solid colors at your store in your countries. So if you find very you know simple colors, it is also very good. And um, this is very cheap yarn. It's 150 grams and then how many meters? I don't know, but it's very you know cheap. It's 200 yen, so less than two dollars and 150 grams. So five ounces, less than two dollars, and uh, I think one. I think you you can make two two hats in one bowl. I I'm not sure. You need a little bit more. So in this case, you can use or you can mix with other colors and enjoy combinations. So uh, in my suggestion, use the one bowl for the main body and change the bloom color so that you can you know uh, enjoy the color variations for your for your gifts to your friends or family members or relatives so this kind of project is very quick project and very nice to do it okay let's continue all right so let's start to crochet this is the upper and this is lower so wherever you can start but i'm going to use the joining point because it is easy to identify where i started and where i have to finish so starting from the joining point and there are two stitches in two rows so uh, both sides of the mountains we need one stitch each all right so starting from the light side of the mountain and attach the yarn. So use the stitch here and attach the yarn. So and the bloom I use 3.5 millimeter hook and I'm going to use 3.5 millimeter hook as well for the foundation round and tie a knot. And you can weave the yarn and later so just leave it behind and in the same stitch and make a chain and make a single crochet okay the next stitch is the left of left side of the mountain and next is light side of the mountain so this is a line and use light and left the light is very easy to insert but left is a little bit tricky if you use or we need to insert here if you use this hole it's a little bit deeper so we need to use just under the line so like this and please pick two stro two loops two loops to keep maintain the strength so here and a little bit difficult so if you have a difficulty to insert the stitch please use one a uh, please or uh, down one size smaller so that hook tip is more you know sharp so it is easier to insert in the stitch rather than the largest hook like this so 
So pick two loops. And I use 3.5 mm hook for the bloom and now. And uh, I'm thinking I should continue this size or size up. And I feel I better to use one more larger size. So from the next round, I'm going to use use a 4.0 mm hook. But for this foundation round, I don't use that size because we need to make the stitch. Because the tip is a uh, say tip size is same, and it's it. This is a little bit tricky to inside at the left of the mountain like this. Oh, and here. Oh, should I should I pick two lips or not? I need to insert like this, but actually you don't have to. I'm going to show you later about it. Because I told you, please pick two loops. And when I look at the stitch, you know, it's really pretty, isn't it? So I'm going to crochet honeycomb pattern, but it is also nice to use this yarn with a single crochet. So if you use a larger hook size and make a sing uh, use the single crochet and make a hat, it's also very pretty, I, gu I guess. Do you agree that? Okay. So when you insert and pick the two loops of the left. So I tried to pick this line, this loop, but it was a little bit tricky. So let me check how many loops here. Yeah, like this. It's really hard to insert. Should I do that? Let me check. Oh, it's too hard to pick. Oh, oh, oh my God, there are two loops already. So you don't have to pick one more loop. This is enough. There are two loops already. So, oh. What a, what a relief! So I could I can crochet like this. Just insert and pick two loops like this. Okay. All right. So let's enjoy. Okay. The last only one stitches, but there is a gap. So I'm going to make single crochet two together. So three loops on, loops on the hook and pull through all and make two stitches together and join with a slip stitch. So this is the foundation round and move to the honeycomb pattern row number one and change the hook size to four millimeter in my case. Because I feel I need a more diameter on the hat. Okay. So start the round one, chain one, and into the same stitch make a single crochet. So I'm using size 4.0 millimeter hook. After single crochet, make two chains, count as a double, and one more chain for a chain one space. So I made a chain one space that's why i need to skip the next stitch into the next stitch make a double crochet and a chain one and skip the next stitch yarn over and into the next stitch yarn over pull up a loop pull up two loops pull up two loops and make 13 double crochet. So this is the second. Three. Yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull up a loop, pull through two loops two times. Four. Five. 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Twelve. All right. So as you can see, the stitch is a little bit wider than the first row, the foundation round, and two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. So I need one more double. Okay. After one more double, make a chain. Okay. Next, skip and. Double and chain one and skip double chain one four times. So this is the second double chain one, skip third double and a chain, skip fourth double and a chain. Okay. Now I'm considering was I right? Yes, yeah, this is the first chain one. It's belong to the thirteen doubles. So thirteen doubles and a chain one. And if one double chain one four times. Okay. Collect. Alright. So move this let's repeat like this. Thirteen doubles chain one one double chain one four times so next is skip the stitch and next stitch make 13 doubles one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen and chain one and next skip double chain one skip double chain one skip double chain one skip double and chain one okay repeat like this all right there are one two three four five stitches are left so after chain one skip and make a double and chain one skip make a double and chain one and into the one two three third stitch join with a slip stitch all right so this is the first row and let's check it is a little bit wider than the brim but that is okay but if you don't like it please try it on and check the fitting and now i'm using size 4.0 millimeter and um, but after that, I'm going to change to 3.5 to make us narrower. And finally, I'm reduced to size 3.0 for 
for more tight stitch okay okay so the next row start with a chain one and this is double crochet and actually this is the uh, open space it is the sixth row of the honeycomb pattern and the next row is the right now the second row round is the first round of the honeycomb pattern so like this and there are four doubles and I'm in the third doubles and also we are going to make the double crochet in those chain one spaces at the both ends okay so chain one and single crochet two more chains count as a double and next there is a chain one space so into the space make a double crochet and into the double crochet make a double crochet and into the chain one space make a double crochet so it means we need to make four doubles all right one two three four doubles chain one and skip the first stitch and from the second stitch of 13 double double crochet we are going to make 11 doubles so we are going to skip first and the last doubles at the both ends and make double crochet in each stitch to meet 11 doubles four five and six okay and uh, please check the little pattern about the honeycomb pattern hat so it is more easier it is easier for you and also i have a tutorial video of the honeycomb pattern back and forth so please watch that video to master the pattern okay it is helpful to make this hat and this is uh, in the lounge but mostly the same and uh, if you get uh, used to that pattern it is is the same when you crochet back and forth or in the lounge so you see the uh, open space here after open space we are going to make the hexagon and uh, at the time this pattern is the half rather half of the hexagon and now this uh this is nine doubles and uh, this is a hexagon we are going to make the from now and this is the first row of the pattern so we are going to make double crochet in the space and a stitch this is the stitch and make nine uh, nine doubles and this is the last space and so chain one okay six seven eight nine doubles okay so at the end of the round chain one and starting from the chain one space make doubles and we started from the four doubles and we need nine doubles in over the chain one space low so we need five round five double crochet and this is the four one two three four and need fifth and make the fifth double crochet and into the joining stitch make a slip stitch to join okay this is the uh, second round of the hat it means the first round of the honeycomb pattern okay move to the next round the next round chain one single two chains or three chains count as a double and repeat doubles and the last round we made four doubles and this round we need to make five doubles so after making four doubles next is chain one space and we are going to make double crochet into a chain one space here 
And so next is chain one and skip the first stitch and leave the last stitch. And we are going to make nine doubles instead of 11 doubles of the previous round. So we need to make nine. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. And leave the last double and chain one and from the chain one space make 11 doubles. One. Like this. Alright. The next is one, two, three, fourth round. The fourth round is a switching round. So we are going to make chain one spaces in the fourth round in the section of the second part. Okay, anyway, let's start to crochet, chain one, and first double crochet, it means single and chain two, in my case, and make a uh, six doubles, two, three, Four, five, and six. And from here to here, we are going to make chain one and doubles. Chain one and skip and make a double. And chain one. Oops. I found a knot. I needed to avoid that. Okay, so unravel the stitches and cut the yarn and remove the knot. Okay. So adjust the color And first, let's finish double crochet and bring the new yarn and make a double crochet and let's change the yarn. Leave the yarn and and pick the new yarn and oh something okay pull through okay finished. So leave the yarn and and we are going to weave ends later. So leave the as is and chain one skip double chain one skip double chain one skip double chain one and uh, how many one to three so one more double and chain one and into the chain one space make a double and continue doubles and until the chain one space so it means 13 doubles in this case five six Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and thirteen in the chain one space and chain one. Okay, fifth round the and this chain one spaces and this chain one spaces are corresponding so we are going to increase and decrease so we need to do the same thing and row five chain one 
single two chains count as a double and make doubles three four and five okay it is just before the stitch and this is the chain one space and we chain one skip the last stitch and into the chain one space make a double and from here make uh, doubles into every stitch these and every spaces so it means nine doubles here chain one space in the double in a space in a stitch and in a space okay chain one and let's decrease chain, skip the first stitch and make a double crochet from the second stitch and before the last stitch we make a double crochet 11 times so i'm going to omit the pattern uh, so if you are not sure about the honeycomb pattern please watch my video here linked and also this this is just a repeating of the right and left you know increase and decrease and making a spaces so if you remember three rounds you are sure to repeat the pattern endlessly and this is uh, also please check the little pattern right above here there is a link so please uh, read through and understand that okay and also i'd like to see you when i change the smaller hook okay so see you then okay i finished six rounds and i'm going to use the smaller hook to size down for sizing down and uh, i'm going to crochet one more round one more pattern or two more patterns mm. okay so actually i need three patterns to match up the rings and uh, i'm going to use from the second part and i'm going to use one more size down uh, so actually i need 20 centimeters height it means eight inches and now i made a uh, 14 centimeters uh, seven centimeters it means three inches and so maybe three and three and three is almost nine inches that is okay and today I went out and here is the close to Kyoto Sangyo University is the north part of the Kyoto city and it is quite different from my town uh, I, I live in close to the Kyoto station it's quite to to south part so uh, I came here to fill the winter season now it's autumn but i feel one i the north part is cooler than the south part so i'm going to show you with the map and now i'm here this is the kyoto sang university is in the mountains and there is a golf course and also a kamigamo shrine here and uh, it's close to the kamo river and uh, i going down to my house so this is a river and in kyoto the kamo river is you know in the center of the city so you can follow the river and you can go you know you won't miss them you know anything so this is the demachi yanagi and this is takano river and uh, takano river joined to kamo river and then to the southern part and that is the royal palace and uh, sanjo stations and sijo stations and that is the uh, gojo 
the close to Kiyomizu Temple, and this is the Sanju Sangendo Temple and Chishak In Temple that is very close to my house. So, here, this is all the Chishak In and National Museum, Sanju Sangendo Temples. So, this is my town, and I and I'm and the, so next I'm going up with the Takano River. Okay, so go back to the Demachi Yanagi. This is a joining point, and go to the east. It is a Takano River, and go to the north. And this is Takaragaike. Uh, this is a uh, international conference. Uh, hole here and oh I missed the river where is the river oh where is it okay anyway when you come to here you see the this mountain it is there yes the way I am close to Kyoto Sang University and I am here Okay, so Kyoto is quite small city and river is different, but you know, finally close to each other. It's very interesting. And now I'm crocheting uh, the honeycomb hat with the smaller hook. And uh, the reason why I crocheting in the car is very comfortable, you know, with air conditioning and with watching TV or movies or listening music and you know and if I park my car in the convenience store I can buy some drinks or foods or snacks as whenever I want or if I uh, you know I can use the bathroom or the washing room as well so and also it's very compact space and it's very functioned and this is my cleaning stuff <laughs> you know the wipe and the spray so i clean in my in my car with spray and wipe wipes so this is a, a given wipes and spray is with a mint oil and some alcohol so it is you know i can uh that is a kill germs also so i keep this in my drink holder for the least back seat because no one sit there and also uh yeah i'm wearing uh what should i oh uh, yes this is my book for the pattern and i love this design and i can keep my pattern just here like a map and so it's very comfortable you know and I can pick up my pattern whenever I need it. So I love to crochet in my in the car. Uh, okay, is it okay? Let me check it. All right. And today I'm I'm wearing a yellow nail polish, and it is much to my heart. And uh, so, what should I tell you? Anything else? So and also here is very cold so I will I'm wearing a quite big you know over <laughs> outerwear outfit and uh, so this is my relaxation and crocheting and uh, let me check yeah this is much with my nail polish right I enjoyed a lot. Okay, so please enjoy for a while.
I OK? Finished、uh, to the length I need. And let me check the height. So I made 20 centimeters height, it is 8 inches. And including the leaf pot, that is 26 centimeters, it is approximately 10 inches. And that is okay. And I have a few yarn left. And how many grams left from 40 grams? Oh, it is a little bit hard to check the weight. So in this case, I use this kind of cup. Let me clean the inside. So, using the tissue, I clean up the inside. A line. So, on the scale and tear, so 0.0 grams and check the weight. As you can see, that is 2 grams. So that is 2 grams from 40 grams. So nearly 40 grams, you think. All right. And also, I use two scales. <laughs> This is a kitchen scale, but it is not, you know, not digital. So this is approximately 50 grams or 55 grams. And 50 grams, and I use 38 grams of the yellow yarn. So it means I use the 10 grams of beige yarn. But in the case, please prepare 15 grams or more. And if you need to make the gauge, please prepare two balls because 40 is not enough to make the gauge. So this is the yarn left. And、uh, uh, let, me let me talk about the、uh, fook size. I used three kinds of the fook on this project. For the leaf, I used 3.5. And for the one first row to sixth row, I used 4.0 millimeter fook. And from 7 to 18, I used 3.5 millimeter fook. And as you can see, the pattern is slanted to the right word. That is usual because I crochet in one way. If you don't like it, please crochet back and forth. But this is a hat, so it doesn't affect much. How many centimeters slanted? Just a few centimeters. And for the 19 to 21 rows, I use size 3.0 millimeter hook. So, If you would like to make straight, please crochet back and forth. Alright, so let's form the hat. And when you form the hat, the slant doesn't affect much. So I think this is okay. Do you agree with me? And this is the pattern, so you can see hexagon like a honeycomb. Alright, so fasten off the yarn and make a tie. Make a knot. And use the yarn needle. And just pick or skip some stitches and make a running stitch. So starting from the first stitch. Insert inside and coming back a few stitches farther and go to the back and coming back front. Skip some or、uh, several stitches, skip a、uh, five, I think five, skip five stitches. Okay, so like this in and out. And in and out. All right, so coming back to the first stitch inside 
and pull it tight like this. This is the first round. And the second round, I need to close. So pick up and form like a flower and form those. So pick stitches on the top stitches here. Pick the top part and pick the top part. So I'm going to speed up this procedure. Okay, so take your time and enjoy this procedure. Okay, one round finished and almost good. And I'm going to add one more round. So pick the top part only and pull it tight. Make one more round. So the shape is like a flower, you know. All right. Good shape, isn't it? Then into the center hole. Here, this is the center hole. Insert the yarn needle to the long side, and there are still unfinished part inside. So I'm going to close like a top part as well so that the seems very professional and nice look like this all right so then pick the top part again and like this so simple and easy I love this kind of easy project. I love a lot. Okay, so like this. Pull it tight. And one more round for in case. Do you like that? Good. Okay, nice shape. And then let's make a knot two times. One and two. And after that, just for in case, just sew around and make a U-turn and with the end. Okay. And fasten off the yarn. Trim it. All right. Alright, so I'm going to weave the yarn ends inside and let me check the height. It is approximately 25 to 24 centimeters. So I'm considering which size is a good size to attach the pom-pom on this hat. 35, 55, 70 or 90. Oh, I'm, I'm not sure which size is good. I, I think 70 or 90 is good, but I'm not sure. All right, I did. I'm going to make 90 for in case, just a trial. And I have only a few 
yarn left in this color, but it and if I use this color, it is uh, like a childish. So I I think uh, I don't know what which color is good to make the pom pom. Well, so oh, I found this yarn. This is mild, more colorful, and this is between this beige and yellow. So it's much to this pet, and this is uh, like a fire yarn. So it's quite good look. I love, I love. So I'm going to try with this yarn and uh, to make a pom pom. And this size is 30 grams and 54 meters. And uh, using 3.5 knitting needles, 16 stitches for the gauge. So it's kind, of, it's a, like a DK size double knitting. And I'm going to try it. Oh, I don't know. It's good or not. It's too large and too fluffy. Okay, so I changed my mind and I'm going to make a pom pom between tassel and pom pom. And the diameter is approximately 7 centimeters. And I'm going to make a, you know, loose pom pom like a tassel. And with a yarn needle and a yarn or string, I, I think this, this is a, you can use thick thicker yarn or string to tie this pom pom because this is going to be the string to attach the pom pom to the hat and uh, I think I should cut the yarn first here so I can control easily and I'm going to tie this side and I'm going to insert one more time and look inside and make sure there is no yarn and left. So it is totally clear. Okay, good. And then pull through and make a tie, make it tight. All right. And if you are not sure you need more security, Please wrap one more time. Is that okay? Is that okay? All right. And make a tie. So I need to fasten off the yarn first. You know, sometimes I don't know, I don't understand what I'm doing, okay? And make a knot two or three times, tie a knot one more time, and one more time for in case. All right, and then remove the pom pom from the you know, you can use a cardboard. I use a calculator, but because that is a good size for me, but you can use a cardboard or whatever you can use on my on your hand. And after that, cut in the center. All right. And check the shape. So how is it? It's slightly longer. So trim it. Trim and shape. And check the length. If you find some length, some yarn uh, longer than the others, please trim a few and then turn around and check uh, the check the shape is it okay or not some part is uh too long so just trim i love a little bit longer and you know oh swaying and uh, swinging swinging pom pom so I, I prefer swinging so I make it a little bit longer. I don't trim it 
a lot. So check here. This is kind of, you know, just a feeling. So if you like it, that is the answer. If you don't like it, it's not good. If you like it, that is the, the light way. So I'm still considering, oh, is it okay or not? But I, I love this kind of, you know, like a, like a sesame street, you know, like a cookie monster. So it is okay. Well, this is my scissor sharpener and if I use it and the sharp, the scissors will going to be sharp and the sharp scissors are good for pom-pom or tassels so please oh please sharpen your blade of the scissors so there are two blades so continue you feel very smooth and check their sound Okay, yeah, good. Actually, I made a pom pom with that or pom pom maker, but that is a little bit heavy. You know, that is 20 grams. 20 grams is like, you know, feels not so heavy, but if you attach on the hat, it's quite heavy. So I changed this one. This one is less than 10 grams. It's very lightweight. So and also it's like a, you know, like a mop, like a duster. So it's kind of, it's like a sesame street. So I like, I like this shape. And let me check. Oh, it's good. I like, I like it. So and uh, also, I would like to make this pom pom attachable. So when you attach the pom pom, you can leave the string longer and then make a ribbon tie inside so that you can remove the pom pom. So you can enjoy with the pom pom or without a pom pom. So that is a very nice light. And so in this case, oh, they this is the joining line, and it, let's move the joining line toward to the left a little bit, here, and uh, find out the point. So insert into the light, a little bit light from the center. To the inside. Okay, and the next one is. A little bit left you know here so it, this is the center and it, just a little bit light and left like this you see and then inside out and bring the yarn and make a make a ribbon like this so that you can attach or remove easily and it is too long so I'm trimmed the length a little bit shorter okay and this is the pompon that I made it's uh, I, I would like to call it a sesame street pompon like a cookie monster so hello 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 <laughs> How are you doing? Oh, I'm really hungry. I want to eat a cookie. So like that. <laughs> okay, so I like I like this kind of, you know, oh, how can I say? How can I call this style? Very pretty. Very pretty like a, you know, like a toy. So this is my uh, honeycomb hat. So I think this is very quick project so you can finish this weekend and um, in a few days or in a day and uh, this pom-pom I would like to attach to my bag I lost one pom-pom because my cat loved that and you know bite it and stole it and destroyed it so I'm going to use it okay 
Once again, I would like to remind you how many grams and how many meters we will need to make this heart. For the leaf, I recommend you to make uh, 20 grams or 40 grams, 120 meters yen. And for the body, I recommend you to 60 grams, including making a gauge, and I use 40 grams actually, but uh, for in case, I recommend you to make 60 grams. And for the pom-pom, I weighed uh, uh, when I checked, the weight was ten less than 10 grams, but I would like to say 20 grams. So the, actually, I recommend you to 100 grams to make this hat, but actual, actually, that is less than 60 grams in total. But uh, this is the reason why I use the lightweight yarn. So if you use the heavy weight yarn, it is going to be heavier. And in my pattern, I say uh, 150 grams, but actually I use the lightweight mohair yarn. It was 500 grams in my calculation for, the, you know, for in case. So uh, sometimes my hand and your hands are different. So I give you more than that. And also this time I changed the stitch numbers and row numbers. And uh, if you make a lip part and if you think it is too short or too long, please adjust it with 22 stitches. It means 22 rows. And uh, in my case, that is uh, 8 centimeters or 9 centimeters. So I added one pattern more. So actually from 4 to 5. Okay, let me check the size once again. The diameter is 24 centimeters, it means 48 centimeters for the plim. And for the hat, it is 27 centimeters, it is 54 centimeters in circumferences, so it is nice size for anyone. And the height, including pom pom, is 28 centimeters height, but actually, you need less than that. So, when I wear this hat, and also pompon is quite heavy rather than the yarn of the body, so the pompon is kind of a weight, and the hat is cut like a you know like a slouchy. So I love this shape as well. You know the shape like this, so it's very drapey. And if you use soft yarn, you can wear like a slouchy. And if you use hard yarn, you can, you know, the hat will going to stand up. So you can enjoy both way. If you use the hard material yarn, your hat will going to stand up. And if you use the soft yarn, your hat will, you know, f uh, like a falling down from to the pom pom. Okay, and also, I love this design. It's very nice for women. Uh, actually, and also, if you have a, in this hat, I I recommend you to not you to, uh, with the hair down, without you know, not ponytail or, you can also you can put in your put your hair into the hat that is okay but i prefer your hair down that is more you know elegant and gorgeous and uh, so like this so it is it will you know brighten blood your face up so i prefer this hat without uh the uh without a uh, you know some visor i prefer to wear the hat the my hair down so i recommend you to do that and also this is very easy project and also i showed you how to arrange the stitch when you can't make the stitch according to the gauge that is very simple just adjust the size so this is the way that i adjust the size and once again and thank you for watching till the end i hope you enjoy this hat and let's enjoy crochet life with with me so see you in my next video thank you for watching and bye bye